boiling. Right. Scott, back on back on home soil. Back on home soil. How, how does it feel to be fighting in England uh, at the O2? It's a huge event and a big fight for you. Yeah, obviously um, it's my first uh, UFC fight, and to be out here in London, um, it's, it's going to be an excellent event. And uh, I think this is this is your third or fourth fight in the UFC. Fourth now. fight, yeah. No, yeah, your yeah. gradual progression all the way through. Obviously, the result didn't go your way against against Yoko last time out. What's changed in this training camp? What what tweaks have you made from yeah, that fight? Yeah, it was a really frustrating fight for me, Yoko fight. Um, it was. I feel my performance one one. It just wasn't me at all. Um, only positives I can really take away from it. I got a split decision loss on a bad day, so um, I will put that behind me. I'm focusing on this fight. Um, I'm, I'm progressing everywhere, every day. I'm getting better, um, and you're just going to see Nusko ask him again. And uh, in terms of Chris Dempsey, he obviously coming down from light heavyweight. That's quite unusual right now, obviously with the with the IV band. Normally guys are moving up in weight. Um, how do you think physically he's gonna he's gonna stack up against you on fight night? Yeah, I'm, I don't really worry about what he does, but um, the fights he took it like every, the, 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 I think those short, late, like short notice fights. Uh, I, might, I might be wrong. I think uh, I know the Latifi one definitely was. Um, he took that on, on short notice, so it, 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 it was just between both ways. I think most of his fights have been at middleweight. Um, but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't worry about what he's doing. I, my weight's on point. I'm gonna be on weight, and I'm just gonna focus on me and make, make sure I get the job done. I wrote about it the other day. I think you're probably going to be, as, as an individual fighter, you might be one of the most uh, best supported guys in the arena on fight night. You've got that travelling army of fans coming yeah, down. Yeah. Tell us a bit about the Askham army. Yeah, they're all coming down. Um, they, they, they get more hyped up for it than me. They all meet up at hotels and then, then they all organise where they're going to go and stuff like that. Um, they're all getting dressed up. Um, I don't, I don't, this is going to be crazy, like, like always. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, but I'm in the UK. I'm going to have a lot more fans behind me than just my local, local support. And hopefully everybody gets involved and gets behind me. It's going to be a massive event. What's it mean to you to be a British fighter fighting in the UFC? Because there aren't that many of them, but you know, the spotlight's on you yeah. this weekend. Yeah, I, I don't say there's not that many of them. We've got um, eight, eight on this card, I believe. I think, I think the sport's growing massively. And uh, But yeah. I do feel it's a, it's a big it's a big thing at uh, UFC. Obviously, um, it's a it's a massive part of my career. It's a massive card. Um, it's going to be a really good card, and I'm, I'm looking forward to every part about it. You can just it, you always feel like you can, when it gets to Thursday and then Friday, you can just feel like more and more media come, more and more people start to arrive, and just more and more buzz around it. But like from Tuesday when I when I got down here, you can just really feel the buzz about the event. And it's just getting bigger and bigger, and come Friday when it's weighing time, it's just going to be outstanding. Last one from me. Big fight Saturday night. What can people expect when you get in there with Chris Dempsey? I'm going in there, I'm, I'm, putting, I'm going to put pressure on him, I'm looking for the finish, there's no doubt about it. All the best, thank you guys, Thank you, cheers.